Hi, it's Gil Robles, and I'm back with a new video. It's been a while since I've posted, um, and uh, gosh, there's been a lot of reasons for that. One, it's uh, finding the time to edit these videos that I'm making, um, like this one here, the squash painting that I did a while ago. And um, two, I'm, I'm finding it difficult, and um, you know, just really thinking about, I'm really thinking about this for the past uh, uh, few weeks, is I'm finding it difficult to, to, to paint. Um, and not that I don't want to paint, because I, I do, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about just wanting to paint. What I'm talking about is that just actually when, I, when I'm painting, for some reason the paintings are taking me longer. Uh, for some reasons I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a bit more with it. Um, and I, I'm not sure exactly why. I, I have a few ideas as to why this could be. Um, and it's not all bad. You know, uh, one of the things that I'm thinking about is that I've been working from photos for so long that um, I need to kind of go back to life, go back to the source and, and just kind of uh, uh, just get replenished. I don't know how else to say it, but you know, there, there's a different, there's a different understanding of things, uh, um, when you when when you're painting from life, and you're painting from from a photo. Now, I don't always have to do a figure. I, I the the hard part is 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 always finding a model, and I think that's why there's so many um, websites, you know, that 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 you can post or or purchase uh, uh, um, reference for artists or you can or you can download uh, uh, royalty free references and so forth uh, um, but a lot of times I, I also take my own uh, photos to to, um, to use this one in particular I think I got this from a, a website called um, draw this I think it is called uh, um, and uh, they have like royalty free photos that they post for artists and um, they, they, uh, you know, the, and, and they also did videos, um, where, uh, you know, you, you would, I think they were on YouTube for a while where you would just draw as, the, as they have these, uh, uh, models posing and, and, um, that was, that was good. And even that would be a good thing, but I, I'm thinking that one of the things that I need to do is just to go back outside. Now it's winter <clears throat> here in New York City. So that's kind of difficult. Um, I mean, it's not impossible, but um, where I'm at, at, at you know, I usually I, I used to go um, to Battery Park. It's near where I work at, and what I would do is take my watercolors there, and and then I would find something to sketch. You know, it's a park, so I, you know I would find like you know the, the just. The idea of having the trees and, and, and people walking by and so forth. So I would sketch there and, and that was good for a while. And that was good, as a matter of fact, to get me started because there was a long time that I hadn't done any painting at all. Um, and it, it just to, to, not a long time, but this little interval in my life where, where things just got so busy and and I was just in a rut and I just uh, just threw my hands up. Uh, but then after a while, I I just couldn't. So what I started doing was uh, uh, taking my watercolors outside and 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 um and continue to paint. I couldn't give up. I continued to paint, and and those first paintings were awful. Um and and a lot of paintings after that were awful, but um it what it did it helped me just to get back into it, get back into it, and then I started looking at some other things that I can do. Uh, um, you know, finding ready models here at home with my, my children and my wife and, and myself, and then, um, going on ahead and, 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 and doing, you know, sketches from, from, from outside whenever I can get a chance, uh, just, just different things. But I started building up back to, you know, back to having a, a, a discipline or, or, a habit where I would paint on a daily basis and uh, um, feeling better about my work as time went on. Um, now, it's funny because I've been doing that for a while now. I've, I've been um, 
painting on a daily basis, drawing on a daily basis. I do it both uh, um, traditionally and digitally. And, um, uh, you know, and now I seem to feel that I'm struggling. Uh, and again, it could be, you know, like I said, I'd go need to go back and, 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 and look at life and replenish myself that way. Also, it could be that I, I just need to push myself more. I just need to demand more of myself that, you know what, when it gets a little bit tougher to draw and paint, uh, maybe I just, I'm, I'm just seeing more. And maybe I'm just considering more things. And I don't know. It could be, it could be a number of things. But all I, can, all I know to do is to try harder to try and do things better. Now, when I started uh, making these sketches, these uh, um, gua sketches on my lunch hour, what I would do was, uh, um, you know, I'd get a photo or something like that and, and do a quick sketch, and it would take me 45 minutes. Um, I thought, you know, that that's... that's uh, um, that I was using gouache because I figured that's the usual time it would take with with the the medium. Now, um for some reason it's taking me uh like I I paint on my lunch hour so it's taking me uh like 5 to 6 days to finish one of these gouache paintings. That that well it's really 5 to 6 hours uh, on my lunch hour. So um so it's taking me longer uh and it's not that quick sketch anymore and and i'm i'm finding it hard to 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 um to to go back to to that speed that i had rather than to than to try and work things out and maybe it's because i'm 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 trying uh to do more with the paint after all i i started with a small sketchbook where all I could do was a, a few, like a small head or something like that, to where I have now a larger sketchbook, a 12 by 16 sketchbook, where I can, I can um, you know, I can paint in figures and, 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 and do a lot more because there's a lot more space. There's a lot more to the page. Um, so that could be taking up more time as well. But I don't think so. I think what it is is that... Um, I'm I'm demanding more of myself. Um I'm demanding more of the painting and I'm trying to do more and I'm also trying to get used to uh gouache. Gouache is a very hard medium to to be in control of um because it it, it there's so many uh so many quirks about gouache. You know, you you lay down the color and it's darker than 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 it, it's darker at first, and it will dry up to be. Uh, once you once the color dries, and you try to paint back into it, you know it's very hard to get the same color uh, because of uh, the way it it dries. You know, it, it, like you it goes down darker, it dries lighter, and so forth. There's different things about gouache, and also gouache is very very to me. It seems very high key, and um, I'm trying to get more subtle. Subtle, th- subtle things in gouache. Now, the thing about it is it, it, it's capable of doing all these things because I've seen some wonderful gouache paintings that's done by different artists, uh, especially like I like looking at the uh, um, Golden Age illustrators and, and, and looking at gouache paintings that they've done. Uh, some Golden Age illustrators, illustrators like uh, Edwin Austin Abbey, use gouache, but they did uh, black and white illustrations with gouache. They, 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 um, it was just uh, uh, gray values, you know, just, just grays. And, um, but they were nice. They were very painterly and they were nice. And then you, you uh, um, go to other illustrators, uh, Harry Anderson. Uh, you go to, uh, I think it's John Falter, who was also a po- uh, Saturday Evening Postal artist and he had done um a lot of illustrations that were in gouache um and very highly detailed um just just uh, um you know just just very nice and sometimes you can you can can't even tell whether they're gouache or oil paints and uh, a lot of uh Frigetta's, uh early stuff especially 
were gouache paintings, uh, things like the cave girl. Uh, I used to think that was an oil painting, but it's actually a gouache painting. Um, and a lot of his early stuff, too, was uh, basically painted in gouache or painted in uh, watercolor and, 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 and uh, inks, I believe. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, that is some, that all that is to say that uh, gouache, you know, is, is a medium that can do a lot. Just because I can't or I haven't learned how to, how to use it in a certain way doesn't mean that uh, it's not capable of doing a lot more. And um, maybe that's what I'm pushing towards. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I just, uh, um, and maybe that's also one of the reasons I found it hard to, to, um, to post videos because it's like, I don't know where I'm at, you know, but at the same time, it's okay. It's okay to, to, to be here. It's okay to struggle. It's okay to, to, to look, to, to find an answer and find my way, whatever it might be. Um, I'm reminded of, of, uh, a lot of the artists that I admire, how they went through periods where uh, it was a struggle. Norman Rockwell went through it. Um, I remember there was a, uh, I was reading, uh, I have many books on, on many different artists. And of course, I have several books on Norman Rockwell. And in one of them, it, there was a, a description of how at one point in his life, he was really struggling with his painting. To the point where he handed an illustration and there was a, a, a figure, there was a character in the illustration who he accidentally painted a third leg to. You know, he gave the guy a third leg. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to tell and you, unless you're really looking at it. But yeah, that, that actually happened. Now, um, Norman Rockwell... Uh, goes through a lot of things to create an illustration. I mean, he he uh, he sketches out the idea. He makes a, a a comprehensive charcoal drawing before he goes ahead into the painting. Then he does a a color sketch, and then he goes right into the final painting. There might be some individual studies here and there. So it's kind of hard to see how he could have made such a mistake, but there it was. Um, and he talked about, and you know, uh, um, how he went through a period where he was having a difficult time with painting. And I'm not, I don't think that, um, uh, you, you know, you can go through his paintings and find a lot of mistakes, but I think that you, you know, he felt like, you know, the, for the most part, his work was lagging and he needed inspiration and he needed to push forward. And, and, and I think, that for me, I'm at a point where I've got to find where I have to push forward in my um, in in my painting to 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 make it better. Now, you know, when I paint, um, I, I lay down the paint, I make corrections, and I can continue to go. So everything is all about you know making corrections from 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 the get go. Nothing's nothing's finished till it's finished. You know, um, like at this point, I, I had a very difficult time painting the hand on on um, on this figure right here. And so I had to go. I think it took me a couple of days to, to, to really figure this hand out. And maybe one of the things that I needed to do was that um, in between the times that I was painting this, um, I needed to uh, make some drawings maybe make an individual drawing of the hand. And maybe that's what I need to start thinking of in order to solve problems, in order to to um, to um to get to a better place as far as understanding what it is that I'm doing. But again, this is okay. This is okay for me to go through this challenge, for me to to um, have this difficult time in painting because it, it, it actually makes it worthwhile. I don't want it to be so easy that it it's just, you know, it, it just becomes um, routine. You know, I, I want to be able to uh, uh, feel challenged, be challenged, and, and um, solve problems and overcome things. Um, otherwise, it would just be boring, you know. And uh, I, I've, I've said this before. Um, I've had people commented you know why why should uh um 
the paint why why should you struggle with painting and then someone had showed me some illustrations that uh, um that she did and um you know first illustration was very impressive nice work second illustration was just like it third illustration was just like it's like this person just used the same technique over and over again to make a very formulaic uh 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 piece of work and that's not what I want to do you know i um one of the things that that one of the benefits of working from life uh even when you're working from photographs is that the subject is new and so the approach would be different uh it could be the same but um you know because the subject is new you you have a a new way uh something new to explore and to find a way to communicate in paint or in pencil or in digital media, what have you, and to make this thing interesting. Um, so, you know, uh, I, I don't want to get caught up in the rut of doing something that's a formula, that's it's the same again and again. Now, there's some things that's important that, you know, you, 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 you know, painting needs to... Uh, painting is hard enough. The more like a science it gets to, the easier it's going to get. However, it is always something to learn, always something new to 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 find out, and um and also having a change in subjects, um, would also add to that because the subject is new, so the approach might be different. Uh, what you're saying is different, um, and so forth. So, you know. Uh, um, there's always something new. Now I'm, I'm going on with this rant, um, because, uh, basically it's two o'clock in the morning and, um, I, I'm not only do I just want to get through this video because I feel like I need to post a video on YouTube because it's been a while, but also, um, I'm going through this rant because it's honestly what I've been going through, um, uh, for the past few weeks. And it, it's funny it's a struggle that doesn't feel like a struggle because I'm I'm painting daily and that's the important thing that I stick to the discipline or I'm painting or I'm drawing daily. I'm doing one or one or the other. And the other thing is that, you know what, uh um the the paintings are still coming along. Uh some of them uh could be better, uh but that's always a challenge, you know. But the fact that I'm looking at the painting and I said you know what I could do a better job or I could um there's some things that I need to work on it is also a positive you know um now I I always approach it from I I, I search for something to paint and I approach it that you know what I'm, I'm gonna try and 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 blow this one out the ballpark I'm, I'm like this one I said you know what I want to do a great job with the hands uh, um, the folds and, and, and the, the, the cloth that she has draped over her would be pretty interesting. I like the profile, but mostly I like these hands. And I thought that the, her, her left hand was going to be a challenge and it did turn out to be a challenge. Um, how I was going to solve that. Uh, and then, you know, uh, um, just solving all the other parts of the painting. It turns out that this had very, very, uh, um, very difficult areas for me to paint. And um, probably, again, because I was pushing myself. I was pushing myself to do better. I was pushing myself to do more than I've done uh, um, previously. And, um, and, and just trying to resolve what areas bothered me rather than leave areas be or avoid them because they're too difficult um and so forth so anyway that was that that's again that's my rant that was my concern this week i will continue to paint and i will continue to post more videos and i will continue to get better at this um and um and improve on my work um, but I guess what this these uh, um, these few weeks revealed to me is how far I do have to go, um, and that again that's okay because I figured that up until uh, up until I'm in the grave I will always have more to do, more to learn, more to 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 grow. 
Um, but I, I don't need to get complacent with that and just allow there for there to be, you know, for, for the work to be mediocre. To, and just to say to myself, ah, you know, I'll, I'll just, I, it's, it's going to get better. No, it has to be better now. It has to be better with, with the painting that I'm doing now. It has to, I have to um, shoot for that with every painting. Otherwise, I'll never get there. You know, I'll never get to, and I probably never will, but I'll never get to a point where I feel better about the work. Now, I think that... Um, over time, you know, I, I'll do pieces that I like better than others, but a lot of times it, it, it's, it's, you know, whatever you feel about, what, or at least whatever I feel about a painting, it's kind of short-lived because I realized that, um, that, that, you know, after I look at it for a while, it, it's on to the next painting, it's on to the next challenge, and then it's on to... Um, you know, then then you forget whatever you know, whatever you accomplish, and then you also start to to as you go on to to pick up on the area errors that 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 you've made. At least I do, and and I start to understand better and better where I actually was at. Like there's some times that I felt good where I was at. I felt like, wow, man, you know, my painting's coming along, it's getting better. And then as time went by, I, I go back to look at it. I say, ah, you know what, it really wasn't that good. Uh, um, I had a lot of problems in there. Then I, there, there, there are times where I look at things and um, I say, well, you know what, it really wasn't that bad. I thought it was worse than, you know, but, you know, when, when, when I remove myself from it and I haven't seen the, the work for a while, then uh, I get, you know, all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I, I see it and then I, I realize that, you know what, um, whatever struggles I had, I, I, I couldn't even remember. But what um, the result was not a bad, not as bad a painting as I remembered. Um, then again, for the most part, though, it, it always seems to me like, you know, things could have gone better. Things could have been better. And but either way, it's OK. Either way, it's OK. It's all part of uh, um, the process, all part of learning, all part of moving forward. Uh, um, some sometimes I guess I'll be surprised. Sometimes I'll be um, a little disheartened. Um, but it, it'll, you know, it's all going towards um, being a better artist and, and getting better at also, it, you know, sometimes it's not the technical skill of, of, of drawing or painting. It's also understanding the medium and uh, um, that, that goes into it. Uh, part of it is the feeling that I have not, uh, um, that there's more that I want gouache to do. Um, and I, I haven't understood how to make gouache behave in a certain way or, you know, so the whole idea is just to keep pushing till I, I, I finally get there. So anyway, um, that was, that was a long rant. Um, and this is the end of the, the video. This is the final piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you don't mind my talking uh, um, through all these things. Uh, and um, it was an honest talk. Um, but, you know, let me know what you think about it in the comments and so forth. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I will be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.